Prenatals, fact or fiction? Is it worth taking prenatals while trying to conceive? Well, in an all new dad life, I caught up with belly prenatal supplement founder Joni Hansen Davis, as well as Novant OBGYN Dr. Frolic, on whether or not prenatals do in fact benefit your body for women and men. I went through my own journey of, of fertility, and I think right now the science, the products haven't caught up with the science. Through her own journey of becoming a mom, Hanson Davis created a prenatal, providing nutrients empowering women and men to have their best viable shot at getting and maintaining a healthy pregnancy. We're not even meeting current guidelines and their formulas are 30 years old. So I think this is one area that just needed to be innovated in. Prenatals that are enriched with folic acid, folate and iron are pivotal as well as other key vitamins. Having extra nutrients in your body is a big deal. What we're bringing in our philosophy is clean vitamins, high quality, best absorbed by your body, because when you put it in your body, you want to know that it's good for you. What you decide to put in your body is what's going to fuel your fertility, your pregnancy journey, and then the future health of your baby. According to the National Library of Medicine, 98% of women took at least one supplement during pregnancy, with prenatals being the most common. I spoke with Dr. Frolic at Novant OBGYN. Um, in pregnancy, there's really just two nutrients that are really um, well studied and well needed um, that have the most kind of bang for your buck um, if you want to, um, you know, when doing prenatal vitamins. And that's iron and folic acid or folate. Out of all the vitamins, she says iron is what you definitely need. Iron deficiency is common and you need it to circulate maternal blood. It happens in about 17% of pregnancies. Um, and obviously we know when baby is ready to come, sometimes that episode we can sometimes lose some maternal blood. So that's why it's really important to set moms up for success for you know postpartum and not feeling so low if we can start you out with a little bit higher red blood cell count. The prenatal market has a variety of vitamins for women. But how about for men? All of our research, like what's the latest research? What, you know, what should we be taking? What are the current recommendations? And everything pointed to men. And there's nutrients, just like women, that men need to be taking to feel their fertility journey. And I know people say, well, men can't get pregnant. Why is it a prenatal vitamin? Because it really is how your sperm, right? You're, mm -hmm. you're providing 50% of the DNA. And if your sperm's not healthy enough to preserve that or to penetrate the egg, then a pregnancy doesn't occur. Yeah, so it's really interesting. Obviously, uh, you know, Erin, my wife, we, she took prenatals. Yeah. I took a male fertility uh, pill as well, kind of mm -hmm. just trying to be there for her as yeah. well. As the supplementation, it's, it's interesting because as a guy, you don't really think you're playing a, a, a key role in it, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but it does take uh, three months mm -hmm. uh, for, I guess, men to have healthy sperm. Yeah. Uh, and so you don't really think about that. And, you know, as a guy, we don't really plan either. So three months, that's a long time out to start planning ahead it if is. you are wanting to do that. I had never even heard of this until now. Yeah. So this is all news to me. I mean, I took prenatals with my son because, mm -hmm. you know, obviously that's pretty standard. Right. And I actually kept taking prenatals for a solid year even after I had him. Did you did take collagen as well? I did take okay. collagen. Yeah. I started taking collagen afterwards. I didn't do it during my pregnancy, mm -hmm. but I do. So you see the difference. And there's actually studies that have shown that men experience postpartum as well yeah you know I wish I would have gotten on that train too that's one thing I didn't really know of but you do get scattered but all of the mm -hmm. fields especially uh, for kiddo number one yep. you know we only have one but uh, but it's just definitely eye-opening for yeah. sure and sympathy pains are a real thing too like it does take two to make a baby so yeah. you guys are going through this journey together so yeah look out for those dads awesome well, hey I definitely enjoy your perspective and Thanks. like I said for for me as a guy it was definitely a light bulb moment for sure so good information there <laughs> Well, coming up next on Rising, football season has arrived, but not without its problems for us here in the Queen City. Stick around to find out if and how you'll be able to watch your Panthers play.